Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think this is? It's a real thick looking liquid, brown. What's it smell like? Uh, it, sweet, uh, smells like flowers, um, almost uh, syrupy. Let's we'll take a little taste. Um, mm, absolutely great, sugary, sweet. Well, this is good old fashioned honey and our local honey, which is, comes from a lot of different tr tropical plants and uh, it's very healing. And you know, honey is one of the most healing things. I had a good friend, her husband had a triple bypass and they took some veins out of his, his leg. And lo and behold, he ended up getting an infection in his leg and uh, it wouldn't heal. And so, they tried everything, all the antibiotics, and it didn't work whatsoever. And so they were at, well, what are we going to use? This is a last resort type of thing, you know. So they uh, tried, uh, and an amazing thing, honey. And uh, it was a triple filtered special honey you got from the pharmaceutical companies, you know. <laughs> it cost like 500 bucks for a little one ounce you know, tube that they were injected into this wound. And lo and behold, it started to respond. And so my friend goes, well, this is crazy, and I'm not going to pay 500 bucks for some honey. So she went to her local beekeeper and got some raw honey. And they kept putting that into the wound. And, lo and her husband got better and healed up. That's a true story. Amazing. Uh, honey is powerful. You know, it has... We have 300 plus varieties around the world, and uh, if I were to cover every single one of them, we'd be here for days. <laughs> uh, strawberry tree honey, which is uh, in her Europe, uh, it is one of the uh, big ones in Europe, in fact, and it's full of antioxidants and is really helps to prevent cardiovascular disease, strokes, and cancer. It's full of polyphenols like in green tea and it lowers LDL cholesterol that bad cholesterol and also triglycerides at the same time and there's not a lot of things that do that you know so there's a, a wonderful strawberry tree tea I mean honey which uh, lowers down your cholesterol and your triglycerides at the same time wow another one which is a favorite of mine which is acacia tree honey you know, and acacia trees grow in lots of different places in the world, especially in Africa. And uh, they have a lot of these great qualities in this wonderful honey. It's great for calming down coughs. And well, honey in general does that too. But it uh, enhances vitality and gets rid of fatigue and soothes away stress. And also full of B vitamins for good vitality. Uh, flavonoids to get rid of uh, free radicals and uh, phytohormones to protect your DNA and also uh, helps to prevent cancer and uh, helps with reproductive problems and boost up your immune system. It also has uh, other agents like oxalic acid which helps to uh, prevent cancer and malic acid which for a great detoxing agent and also citric acid, which is a powerful antioxidant and helps uh, prevent kidney stones. So another thing that uh, acacia tree honey does for a person. Also, it's a, it's a good detoxing agent for the liver and increases glycogen uh, storage within the liver. And also, it, uh, and another thing, it helps with those suffering from, from diabetes because it helps to lower your blood sugar. And that's really interesting for uh, something that's sweet. And also, and one thing about it, you could take it a, a teaspoon, put it into a hup, cup of co uh, hot water, take it about two hours uh, before eating, and it'll, it'll help to lower down your blood sugar if you have, you know, diabetes or something like that. And also, it helps to fight gastric ulcers. And... In general, it helps with uh, asthma and bronchitis, so acacia tree. Pretty amazing stuff, and it's anti-inflammatory, and it's an antibiotic, and helps with minor skin scrapes and uh, um, 
cuts and wounds and things like that also. So if you live in Africa, take mind of acacia tree, honey. I mean, it's you got a warehouse of something which is amazing there. All over Europe and also in the United States, we have linden trees. And those linden flowers <clears throat> create wonderful honey. And uh, it's soothing, relaxing, calming, helps with insomnia and anxiety problems. Is that amazing or what? Well, linden flowers actually do too. So <laughs> the qualities go into the honey. I think it's uh, amazing. I, I wonder if those bees are laid back. <laughs> <laughs> and it can help you get to sleep and it works well for bronchitis and coughing and colds and things like that also so try some linden flower honey and if you suffer from insomnia or just can't sleep sometimes take a teaspoon of <clears throat> linden flowers honey excuse me and uh allow it to steep you know mix it into the hot water and uh, enjoy that tea, that honey tea, and get to sleep. Another one is dandelion flower honey. And everybody in the world's got dandelions in their yard. <laughs> They're all trying to get rid of them, but dandelions are great, really. They're great edible green, which is a great detoxing agent. But also the honey, if you're, you know, you can find dandelion green honey, which some people do, uh, propagate just that type of flower in general just for the bees uh, I think it's really good and, and they prize it highly in China and I think it's uh, wonderful because it has a lot of vitamin A in it and an antioxidant it uh, has a lot of calcium for strong bones and uh, vitamin K for clotting also copper for, and then iron for anemia and it boosts up your, your immune system and helps with um, having manganese for arthritis and uh, magnesium for blood sugar regulation and also for enzyme production. And it also helps for clean cleansing the liver, uh, like dandelions do too, and the kidneys and the GI tract and promoting health in general. So I think it's really a great, another great one. There is not a bad honey, really, to tell you the truth. But the, the problem we have to look, at, look at now is a lot of times uh, these big honey companies are cutting it with sugar. So it's best if you can go right to the beekeeper and get honey that is unadulterated. And for sure, you're going to get raw, wonderful honey. Another one is buckwheat flower honey. You know, buckwheat grows in the cooler climates of the world, Russia, Canada, the United States, uh, you know, across Europe and uh, South America, and all kinds of different places, and it's a wonderful grain. Uh, it's more of a seed, and a grass, and full of protein, but it also, the honey is amazing. And it's uh, kind of like molasses. It's really dark, if this honey is. So if you like dark honey, it's really right up your alley because it's full of vitamins, full of minerals, full of uh, polyphenol compounds like green tea. It helps with uh, cardiovascular disease, strokes, and cancer, and also boosts up the immune system. And also it has a, uh, a great ability to suppress coughs in uh, little kids and I think it's really important for anybody who has a cold or a flu or you know it just has some kind of bug that's going around and I think it's a, a powerful antibacterial agent uh, antifungal agent also and a and really great anti-inflammatory so another great honey I mean a lot of people you know take this stuff for granted but I think it's usually important Blueberry flower honey. No, the blueberries in general are amazing antioxidant. Uh, right up there with the powerful antioxidants of the world. So blueberry flower honey, though, is even great also. Uh, antibacterial agent, it's, it helps to treat urinary tract infections. And also it helps to uh, get rid of bacterial infections uh, that are attacking the lining of the, of the bladder itself. Hmm. A lot of people probably don't know that. And it helps prevent uh, bladder infections from reoccurring. So if you, you know, have your teaspoon of blueberry honey, flower honey every day.
And if you have reoccurring bladder infections, that's something to think about. Also, it's really great for uh, all kinds of different things, including it's high in antioxidants, so it will keep the DNA damage away. Also, for cardiovascular disease, strokes, and cancer, and it helps to get rid of facial scars and uh, acne, acne also. And if sometimes you just have to put, uh, say if you have acne in one area, put a little honey on there, and that can, can help in a great way. And then wash it off later. Powerful anti-inflammatory. If you live in a, a warm climate like we do, <laughs> uh, and I have two avocado trees out front, uh, an avocado tree honey, when they're in bloom, is an amazing thing. Uh, it was really, really nice. And luckily here, in, uh, we have a lot of, a lot of bees. And fortunately, we do. Uh, it's an amazing agent. Uh, it stops the H1, uh, excuse me, HbA1c, and lowers uh, the cholesterol agent. So uh, it helps with the, your blood sugar, and it also helps with your lowering your blood cholesterol, and also boosts up metabolism. Uh, burns more fat, man, that's one of the few that really does that. It has to boost up your metabolism in general. And so you, you lose weight. And it also has a lot of polyphenols and boosts up your immune system, which is, oh, good old avocados, you know what I mean? I love those things. I have a, one or two a week myself, uh, especially we have a variety that have a long neck on them. And then you slice those in half, oh, man, like eating butter, really nice. Also, orange blossom honey. You know, I have a lot of oranges in Florida, in California, around Texas, and Louisiana, and all kinds of different places. And if you happen to be around orange trees, or you have one in your yard, then maybe you can uh, ask your neighborhood um, beekeeper if he has any orange blossom honey, because it's really great. It's um, powerful, has seven, diff seven different antioxidants in it. And it's uh, galogen, awesome, meritin, hesperitin, quercetin, uh, kempferol, and the list goes on and on and on. And it really is a, a great agent for lowering inflammation and supports your cardiovascular system again, uh, prevents strokes and cancer. And the University of Vienna did a study where they found that uh, it in general can prevent many diseases. So uh, orange blossom honey, really good. It kills uh, E. coli, uh, also st uh, staph infections, and salmonella uh, infections. So another thing that you might want to think about, uh, if you have orange trees around, that's a really important one. In France, they found that orange blossom honey was 87% uh, effective in actually speeding up healing in wounds. So. That's pretty amazing, really. Also, neem trees. You know, I have a neem tree out front also. I keep it small because they get to be 40 feet tall and huge, and so I keep cutting it back and you know, I use the neem leaves as I need. And uh, it's kind of a bitter-tasting honey, neem is. And uh, it can also have a huge qualities because it has the ability to lower blood sugar. So if you live in India, you live in you know, Sri Lanka, you live in, uh, in tropical areas of Asia or South America and you have neem trees, you know, something to think about. Also, it uh, also, also lowers blood pressure and it helps with uh, gum disease and sore throats and rashes and also allergies. So this is one of the few that helps with allergies. So uh, I think it's really important. So if you have neem honey around and it's unadulterated, uh, check with your local beekeeper and see if you can get some neem honey. They're really good. Also, uh, manuka, which has been talked about a lot. You know, and you can buy a manuka honey. Some boy, some manuka honey has really gotten expensive. A uh, little tiny jar about this big has gotten up to $70, $80 a bottle. Wait a minute, a little thing. It was like, a, wow. Uh, but it's a really 
a powerful antibacterial agent and kills all kinds of bacteria and also helps that the biggest thing is it kills a H. pylori bacteria which causes ulcers. So if you have uh, problems with gastric ulcers, uh, peptic ulcers, that type of thing, you, you might want to try Manuka honey. And it helps also with acne and sore throats, uh, indigestion, colds and flus. And you can get these honeys online. Now, uh, you can buy them uh, on Amazon and uh, eBay and just look around. And also, source close to home. Use what you have. You know, even if you have safflower around, use safflower, you know, uh, honey. It's a really dark honey, but it has the ability to also really help with infections also. Um, and also, support your beekeepers. You know, they've had a huge problem with losing bees. About half the bees in the United States have been... Uh, just died and so you know, we've had a huge problem with that so it's important to go out and support your local beekeeper and if you are into keeping bees thank heavens I really appreciate you if you have a big enough yard you can put a little you know hive there and a beekeeping box that's really wonderful and you get your honey and you can uh, you know get your wax and all kinds of different things and the propolis and all lots of different uh, agents which will help help to keep you uh, fit and going strong for a long long time also but remember the honey is sucrose it is a sugar so you know if you're going to be drinking a whole bottle like this you're going to be in trouble <laughs> It eventually will make your, you know, blood sugar go up if we drink too much of it. It's just to be used in small amounts. Uh, so to keep bear that in mind. It is sucrose. There's no doubt about that. So also uh, use honey in a sparing way to be, you know, mindful of the bees because you know just to use it uh, willy nilly is not thinking about where this came from. It took those bees a long time to make that honey. <laughs> and also, you know, source from people who don't have bees, you know, by, you know, things that are full of toxic chemicals, you know, that's really important. Talk to your beekeeper. He knows, you know, where, where he's getting his, uh, his best honey and uh, the best free chemical free honey from. So, uh, make sure you talk with your beekeeper. That is the best way. So, if you would like to get a hold of me, feel free. All my contact information is down below. I uh, would like to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, my consults are always free. I had a couple people call me this morning. And uh, I, might, I get emails all the time and text on the phone. Also, uh, you can go to my Facebook page under Dr. Paul Hader, and uh, you can message me there at the top. That's one of the, a good way to get a hold of me. And the email, drpaulhader at gmail.com, and I'll get right back to you. You know, remember, I go to bed early at like 8 p.m., and I'm on Eastern Standard Time, so uh, try to get a hold of me early in the day, and I'll help you in any way, shape, and form I can. And uh, if you care to make a donation, that is really greatly appreciated. And we're still taking food to people. We have uh, over 100 pounds of rice in the back of the car right now to help people who are starving. And we, I know particular churches who are feeding 350 people a day. So uh, if you care to make a donation, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. And you'll have a wonderful day. And remember... I love you.